Okay. Our mealworm video. Uh, four boxes of mealworms bought in the local pet shop. Kept in oatmeal. Uh, this is them um, at the mealworm stage. Mealworm stage. The, we bought these on the 30th of December 2009. Uh, put them into this tub, kept them in the heat. They've been in this stage and started changing to pupae after about a few weeks. Uh, the 10th of January 2010, we got our first pupae. Now they're still changing yet, so they all change at different stages, different processes. We do get some dead ones. We sieve these out on different occasions, thin out, take out the dead ones from among them. Uh, as they progress, you need to check check them every day, check these every day, so that we find the pupae. Now I'll show you a stage where it gets to the pupae stage. We lift them out on a daily basis and put them into another tub. And at different stages we'll see the pupae. This is the large box where all the pupae stay. Uh, when they started changing on uh, January the second, January the tenth, we got two of these on the first day, which went up until the highest amount we got in any one day was ninety. So they've changed from worm to pupae on different stages. Now, if we come on a bit closer, we'll see these at different stages just when we change. If we look at this box here, there's ones that have just changed today. And you see the end of my pen, they're nearly white, they're like a cream colour. Uh, the first day they change. So that's them just changed, those have just changed in a matter of hours. There's a few of those that have just changed. There's one that has changed from this morning, and it's starting to turn like a tan, tan colour. And as we progress on, and, and we see it going a wee bit farther, I'll try and single one out. Spoon. Like a spoon here, we left them out. There's a couple that have probably been in a couple of days, and we can start to see in it where the, their eyes are starting to appear, and the wings are starting to appear below it. Here's one that's probably been on there about a week, and you can see it starting to turn brown, and the legs starting to show. You can see the wee darkness of the two eyes. Trying to come out. Then we'll go on as as we as we see them starting to change to that, we thin them out a wee bit more. Uh, when you see it down to a bit when they're on their last day. And we move them into another little box where you can see these have turned a darker brown. Uh, if we pick one out, a couple out, you'll see they've turned dark brown. Legs are clearly visible. Wings are starting to come out the sides. Uh, we got one that's even. This is probably a few hours of changing. You can see clearly where the legs are folded underneath. The wings are showing. Here's one just changing as we speak. You can see it shedding skin. There's another one that just twitching, starting to change. As they come near the changing stage, if you watch them, they start to start to twitch, twitch constantly. And then we get to the stage where the beetle has actually come out of the shell and is ready to be then moved into the next stage. We we'll move them into fresh oatmeal, and after a few days, they'll turn to maturity and start laying their eggs. Breeding box, they're going to start uh, mating, laying eggs. There's a number of beetles in here. We have approximately, well, today alone we have about 50 beetles. 
for now today as you can see there's one on just white which is put in today the darker brown ones have been in for a longer period of time and it looks like one that's probably dead they don't all survive most of them do so far and we're still keeping them in the heat then a few days see here someone shed their skin look that's just dead skin left that out there's a very dark one so that's one of our early ones but they, they started turning to beetles uh, on the 22nd of January. So we had our first pupae on the 2nd of January. By the 22nd of January, we had our first beetle. And yes, we started off one beetle a day, 30 beetles yesterday, and we'll be 50 some beetles today. So that's all of the minute. We'll come back to you in the next progress. Uh, once we start to get eggs and young worms again, and we'll stick in the next stage. This is from Northwest Worm Farm. If you check us out online, you'll get us at www.nwwf.co.uk. Thank you.